Hi everyone and welcome to this week's angel reading and with a little bit of energy forecast and the continuum of what's been happening with the shifts since the solar eclipse, new moon and um, spring equinox, uh, that energy is continuing to serve us now as we enter in the lunar eclipse which is happening tomorrow, April the 4th. And an eclipse of any sort, whether it's solar or lunar, is really here to orchestrate and assist us with change and growth. And this particular date is April 4th for the lunar eclipse, and it's a total eclipse. And there's only one, I believe, total eclipse um, lunar it, per year. It's usually a partial eclipse. So this one's absolutely a total lunar eclipse. And it happens to fall on the date April 4th. And April 4th, um, coordinates to the numbers 4-4. Four, four. And 4-4 four, four is a very significant angel number. And what it implies is that you have a stronger connection to your angels and their messages on this particular date. So if you see 4-4 four, four, or 444 four, four, repetitively, that is a sign that you have a strong connection with your angels and that there are a lot of angels around you and they're reminding you of their presence. But what's particularly important with this particular date is that it also signifies that you are on your right path. So the theme for this particular weekend is to support our journey and along our paths. And in particular, the theme seems to be with life purpose. And so the card deck that I used this week for this week's um, angel reading is with Dorian Virtue's Life Purpose card deck. And it's the first time that I've used this deck for um, the angel reading and angel forecast, but it seemed to natu I seemed to be naturally drawn to it. And it wasn't until after I drew the cards and I looked at the date that I realized that it makes perfect sense that with the numbers 4-4 four, four, and with the theme of life purpose and people having questions at this particular time, perhaps, with regards to their path, and we're often wondering, am I on my path? Am I going in the right direction? And who hasn't had questions about that before? But in conjunction with the lunar eclipse, it specifically orchestrated th for this period to assist us with um, any changes that we need to perhaps make in our life path and in our life purpose and what those changes might be. So that said, um, I'm going to start off with the first card. And if you picked card number one, then the messages that your angels are suggesting that your life purpose involves travel. Now, it could also be that your life purpose um, requires you um, not just to travel, but um, to help you with your own spirit. So, for example, for me, I love to travel. I find I do a lot of learning, and most of my growth occurs when I leave the comfort of my own home, and I'm put in an environment that I'm not used to being in, and my spirit tends to really soar and loves the type of adventure. So if you picked card number one, the travel card, it could indicate that, yes, your career or your life purpose involves travel, but also that your soul at this particular time wants to go somewhere. It wants the adventure and the journey, and perhaps also you just need a break. Uh, what What's great about travel is that you really learn different aspects about yourself that you may not learn in your own in your own home or in the comfort of your own home. So um, the angels are saying it's time to get uncomfortable and step out of your box and consider maybe take going somewhere that you've never been or maybe there is some place that you've been longing to travel for and now is the time to make travel plans and follow up with those dreams. Okay. And the second card doesn't surprise me at all um, for all you light workers out there. Whether you call yourself one or not, at this particular time, um, the angels are saying that you are um, an energy healer and that you are gifted in that um, energy healing is um, an aspect of your being that you could use professionally or maybe as a hobby. Um, to send healing out um, to people out in the world. So if you've taken a course like Reiki, and there's so many different energy modalities out there right now. There's heart rate, heart rate, 
sorry, heart resonance therapy and all kinds of other energy modalities, um, that your vibration is aligned with this type of um, service. So if you're thinking about taking a course or an energy healing course, definitely now's the time. If you're thinking about pursuing a career that involves energy healing, now is the time. Or if you are in need yourself of energy healing, then by all means go out, get a practitioner and get some healing done on yourself. But um, if you pick card number two, there could be multiple meanings for this. But the general gist of this card is that you are um, gifted in that you could very well be an energy healer and that you may want to consider using that modality as a way of being of service. And last but not least, we're getting the Ask card again. So this came up, I believe, in last week's reading. And the angels want to remind you once again that it's really important that you ask for their help. And especially if you have questions about major changes like your life purpose and you're confused and you're not really sure what that might be or what next step that um, you require to take in your life purpose, Ask the angels, and especially in this particular period during this weekend with the lunar eclipse, with the date 4-4, there's a lot of energy directing towards this aspect of your life right now. So this is the time to contemplate, um, to think about what it is that you really want to do with your life. And perhaps if there are challenges, you're not sure if you could actually do this for a living or whatever it may be, make a laundry list of all your questions and then ask your angels. And I have been getting messages from people who I've done readings for in the past who said that, you know, they've been asking their angels for advice and they've been getting their answers. So I really appreciate the feedback and I love getting messages like that. So if an angel has somehow helped you or helped you with some aspect of your life in which you asked, please let me know. I really want to know about it. The important thing to do is that when you've had an experience like that is to share it with others. I'm Farhan Dalla, and again, if you are enjoying these angel readings and these angel forecasts, then please subscribe to this channel or click like and uh, submit your comments in the comment section. Till next time, angel blessings.